Well, Jessica, the rule, the judge ruled that the suspect in this case, who's accused of using pepper spray inside an ambulance and stabbing an EMT multiple times, is not competent to stand trial and amended the motion to the suspect's condition of release. Now, Julie Tejeda, she appeared over Zoom today for her hearing from Shattuck Hospital. She was arrested back in 2019 for allegedly stabbing EMT Elena McAllister, who was in the courtroom for today's hearing. McAllister and the Boston EMTs Union has been asking for Tejeda to be required to remain at the hospital to continue her treatment and to hopefully one day be found competent to stand trial. But based on the annual competency evaluation from the Department of Mental Health, Tejeda was found not competent and the Commonwealth and the defense attorney agreed that Tejeda will seek a conditional voluntary commitment to remain at that hospital until a group living home is available. That should Miss Tejeda on her own without DMH's approval seek her release, DMH can uh, prevent that from occurring for about three days while they can seek to have her committed again. So we have that added layer of protection that we don't have to have some concern that Miss Tejeda is going to decide one thing or another and, and walk out the door. In fact, Your Honor, Miss Tejeda wants to remain hospitalized. Okay. Kind of not the outcome we were looking for, but it's a step in the right direction to get justice for Elena. Now, the judge did order that Tejeda, if when she eventually leaves Shattuck Hospital, she will be required to wear a GPS device, despite the objections from her defense attorney. Now, Elena McAllister did not want to speak outside of court, but the Commonwealth told the judge that McAllister's injur injuries have forced her to medically retire from her job as an EMT. There will be another review of Julie Tejeda's competency in March of next year. Reporting live outside Suffolk Superior Courthouse, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.